hello everyone so in this video i'm going to show you guys how to forward data from universal forwarder to index here so we are going to be as i already said in the previous videos there is no gui in universal forwarder so all we're going to do is just run a couple of code in the command line and then we'll be able to forward the data from the universal forwarder to index here so as always all the code that will be typing will be available in my git if you prefer reading the process which i'm going to follow in this video you're always welcome to check my repo i will just leave that link in the description of this video so let's just get on about how to forward data from universal forwarder to indexer so in the previous video we have forwarded the data from searcher to the indexer now what we're going to try to do is send the data from universal forwarder to searcher so as you guys know there is no gui for universal forwarder so it won't be that good to see a GUI which says add the user credentials to login. So anyway, we love doing it in command line. So we'll go on about it. So like the same way, you have to add the indexer so that you send that data to the indexer IP. So what we're going to do is, so all the code that I'm typing will be available in the Git repo, which I will share the link of that Git repo in the description of this video. I'm going to give this Splunk add forward server. Then we're going to go to the IP address of this next instance and then come back. I'm going to paste it and then going to put a colon and then going <clears> to <throat> specify the receiving port. Then it's going to ask this choose the username the credentials just just specify the necessary credentials so added forwarding to the index instance so what we're going to do is just give a quick restart So if this takes a little bit longer, I'll just cut it out and then skip it so that you don't have to wait. So that gets done. Uh, okay, so let's go check one more time. So yeah. So this is done so the restart is done now let's just go to the indexer then we'll just search for the same internal index just give a search now if you can see we for the previous video we saw two hosts which is the one is the indexer itself and next the search head now we have three and probably you guys might have guessed the third one is our universal forwarder so we're just going to click it As you see the universal forwarder has been added so when you just click this so it'll only show all the data which has been forwarded from the universal forward so this is how you add forwarding to the indexer in universal forwarder so that you send data to the indexer from universal forward so catch another one guys stay safe bye bye now